Cut her online a little bit, but I haven't seen her in a while. All right, shall we do this thing? Yeah, let's do it. Ready? No. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's our thing that we do. All right, how do I get up with this one? Zinnies in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't care what happens in this show. It's already been the best night of my life. You people sat here for a good hour and a half. Looks like Jim Lil for coming up and playing his heart out for us. Totally amazing. I have very good news for each and every one of you. Harmontown is now in session. Welcome to the stage, the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. He's right there. I could just walk off stage and go home right now. And yeah, well, <laughs> well, maybe not for their money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, but it's noteworthy that, they, like, we, okay, I, I just, like, like, let's go to the timeline, because we've been sitting in the back of the room, like, uh, hanging out with people. I've been doing uh, countless Jaeger bombs with people. Uh, thank you. Is it Bob, right? Bob and Jen? Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm not drunk. It's sleeting and, and raining and snowing and, and yeah. there's, there's ice daggers falling out of the sky. <laughs> and everybody showed up. The show starts at 7.30. We're up here at 7.25 on the Nugget, something like that. Uh, we, we've been back there since six. Uh, I don't know how the, the, you know, the timing of it works, but it's like, like oh, gonna, get them in here, get them in here. I don't know why everybody showed up early. Uh, <laughs> But get them in, get them in, warm them up, light a fire, uh, 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 uh. and uh, and then. But then, because we're making this movie, like one of the weird byproducts of, of of making a documentary is, okay, you can't be playing Prince songs while everyone's sitting around having a good time. So yeah, exactly. It's a shitty corporate. It's a, one of the many little invisible ways that corporate America fucks you over. Like, 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 can't, oh God, uh, Wang Chung can't be playing while I'm, while, I'm, while I'm waiting an hour for the shit I bought a ticket to. Um, and, and so you would be sitting here in abject silence, but we're in Nashville, Jeff, where music was invented three times over. The blues was invented here. Rock and roll was invented here. And grunge was then invented here. And, Is that true? <laughs> yes, it was in this very bar. That Weezers, uh, 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 they, they, their, their van broke down, and they and they said, you know what? Let's just let's just not get dressed up tonight. Uh, yeah, let's wear a, a checkered shirt and not wash our hair. At a club called the Ironic Old Opry. <laughs> <laughs> Country, western, blues, rock and roll, everything, everything that calls itself music, purportedly originated from this fertile crescent uh, in the South. Uh, also, Martin Luther King got shot somewhere in this state. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. Not holding you to that. We're more focused on the Elvis thing. Love you. Love you for it. Uh, no biggie. <laughs> it's, it's all about balance. It's all about <laughs> perpetuation of cultural uh, infamy. Uh, uh, but only in this state, only in Nashville, only in this city, could you come in with no music to play when people are sitting and then go, Hey, anybody uh, able to fill an hour with a guitar? And one guy's like, yeah, I, don't know, I got a guitar in my wallet. What's his name, Joe Lil? Yeah. Jim Lil. Joe is uh, Southern for Jim. Uh, uh, Jim Lil, uh, this kid, this little child with his acoustic six string came up here and filled like an hour of time while we uh, while we did Jaeger bombs in the back. 
He sang songs about that he dedicated to Joseph Campbell. He he sang the community theme uh, at the end. He he strummed and he hummed and he thumped and he bumped. And uh, he's the John Henry of fucking uh, of, of of legally clearable music. <laughs> this is this is the city to be in if you need if you need uh, uh, music. Uh, and I, I think I, like like also we've been working on this Harmontown theme, so we'll probably be bringing people up. Uh, I think there's probably some singers in the audience. It's Nashville. Don't shake your head, lady. Uh, there's probably, I'm gonna, I just wanna put this out. I assume there's somebody who can do a mean beatbox uh, in the audience. I expected a bigger re reaction than that. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. Maybe, maybe Nashville rejects the beatbox as a, as a valid musical instrument. Anybody? You do? Oh, I do. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, what, what was your name again? Garrett. 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 Uh, can, can you stand up and face everybody? And can, uh, is, it, is this going to humiliate? If I say Neil Patrick Harris is, <laughs> you probably get that a lot. Like, like yeah. I'm sorry. It's it's nerd on nerd violence. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing it. Who did you? Who do you get, Dan? Do people say you look like Randy somebody? Quaid? <laughs> I get Randy Quaid. I, I want to get Bill Murray so bad. I just wait, beg wait. people to what? get, oh, Bill Murray, yeah, sometimes people say Bill Murray. No one ever says Bill Murray. What, 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 what are the, 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 your neighbor, the lady, that, like the Armenian woman? That oh, she like, always said I would look like Russell Crowe, yeah. <laughs> I miss that so much. Uh, you look like, but she didn't know Russell Crowe's name. I would always have to tell her. She'd be like, you look, who do you look like? And I, well. He was the he was a gladiator. Nah, Russell Crowe. Yeah, that's it. Now I don't. Shut up. Uh, Music City, Jeff. Music City. Couple other nicknames for this town: the Athens of the South. A lot of schools, museums, and whatever. A lot of, I'm assuming just a lot of co you know columns and things. I don't know why Athens of the South. I don't get it either. Uh, Little Kurdistan. No one calls it that. Little, I Wikipedia this are there, are there any, Do we have any Kurds in the crowd tonight? Any Kurds here? Wikipedia would have you wrong. <laughs> Supposedly there's the largest U.S. population of Kurds in, in Nashville. Do they just hate me? I, I was going to do a whole thing where I... Because I picked... I, 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 I made a bookmark on my phone for Kurdistan. <laughs> So I was gonna try to riff like a uh, curd a, bits? A, a curd a curd targeting stand-up act. <laughs> You've been to Kurdistan, Neil Patrick Harris. Wait, wait, wait what's your actual name? Garrett. Garrett, oh, Garrett. Sorry, You've been to Kurdistan. Yeah. Under what uh, circumstances? <laughs> you were in the army. What was your uh, MOS? I was at uh, 21 Bravo. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> a 21 Bravo? Yeah. What is that? Combat engineer. So Where's you your MOS? What are you talking about? What are you guys doing? What's going on here? Do you, do you ever squeeze squab the double walnut? What? No, oh, so uh, that's not real. That's I mean, not I mean, real I mean, language. I made that up. Squeeze uh, squab the, the double MOS, walnut. Uh, what does it actually mean? Uh, no, no one seems to know the answer to that. It's like a military specialty. Mi military occupational specialty. And so you're a combat engineer. Does that mean you like you blew up bridges and stuff like that? Or? Uh, you build bridges and you blow stuff up. That's how my recruiter explained it. But what did you actually do? I was like, like, like blowing up like uh, unused artillery and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's all over the country. W were you in Iraq? Yes. Really? How long did you serve? Uh, I was in the army for three years in Iraq. Right? Let's hear your let's hear your, your yell. Uh, hoo, hoo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he had a slightly honorable discharge. <laughs> uh, you are you are amazing out here, but but you cannot be relied upon to sound like Al Pacino. And, and while that does not win or lose wars, we have to let you go. <laughs> yeah, he did it right. I imagine. Yeah. Hua is, is, is army. Oh, your army. Okay. And so what, what, what's your rank? Are you retired? Are you, are you re separated? Yeah. Separated? He's just a, he's wanted to start seeing wanted to start seeing other branches of the military. <laughs> So you're just, you're just done. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's, a, that's a rough gig, man. So you were out in Iraq? Yeah, 
when things are hairy? Just one of those dull afternoons when you're blowing up artillery and stuff like that. I saw, I saw the Hurt Locker, so I think I know exactly. I might, I might as well have been there. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's what you do. Take take a nice stroll. What's the worst thing that could happen? <laughs> That sounds like such a bummer. I, got, I was gonna get like Facebook messages from guys that were like active service out there. I go like, I love community. I'm out here. I'm in this station and that station. I'm doing this and that. And I write, write back to them and go like, Will you fucking stay safe. Will you just stay safe? Just get back home. And I, I, I don't know if that's the right response because they never write back. Like, I, again, I don't know if it's because they they're like, well, don't maybe be a, don't be an me. asshole. Like 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 tell me who I and I don't know. I, I just want to like, like, like get, get, get back here, you fucker. Um, I, I, my ratings are so low. They go, what are you doing out there? So you, <laughs> that, you, that, you watch my show? Is that, like, that's we need that, consolidation of the forces. That's the limit that you support the troops is to the extent <laughs> that, that, that they have a Nielsen box. Yeah. In, now, in what are you tent? doing? Yeah. Uh, Nashville, Jeff, named for Francis Nash. You know who Francis Nash is. Yeah. I know, but but do they? He invented he invented the typewriter. <laughs> no, he didn't. I couldn't forget Francis Nash. Uh, is there any, are there any Francis Nash experts in the audience? Because I, I got <laughs> blank stars. It's the, the city's named. Uh, there's a lot of things in the South named after Francis Nash. He was kind of a weird character. I couldn't really get a get a line on it. I Wikipedia Nashville, and I said, and then I was like, who's this Francis Nash guy? Is he a good guy or a bad guy? Uh, and I, cu I couldn't really figure it out, so I was wondering if there was anybody D here. Dan, I, I, I hate to interrupt this trenchant uh, commentary on Nashville, but is there an audience member wearing a, one of our GoPro cameras on his head down in the front? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. Wait, love it. So, right. <laughs> so our asshole director just came up and put a camera on your head? <laughs> <laughs> Did, he didn't even ask. I didn't even ask. Uh, so you get, get, get to get lots of awesome shots of Dan's balls during this. <laughs> In addition to the to ball price, cam. Yeah. City sometimes called the buckle of the Bible belt. I, knew, I would figure my audience wouldn't approve of that, but but I think that's that's mythologically important. But, but they have the but they have the power to unbuckle it. Yeah, exactly. You really, yeah, don't 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 deny yeah. that power. All you have to do is go, Ugh, and then the South's pants fall down. The, the whole country changes. But you can't deny the fact, I, I, I think, honestly, like we were in Atlanta and I, I really went to town on, uh, uh, you know, how politically or historically, like, like uh, important it was that we were in Atlanta. I was supercharged there. Here, it, gets, it could get a little uncomfortable talking about that, but like, like, like Nashville, what eclipses it is that throughout the decades, no matter what comes along musically, like, like Nashville, just like, what is it? What is it, Jeff? Why do they love music so much? What's no, no, with them? See, I, I love country music, but I like old country music. I'm not big, I'm big yeah. Like, I, I don't really like the new, what they call like the Nashville sound, right? Like, it's too overproduced for me. It's, it's too, I don't know. As, as Waylon Jennings called it, he goes, it's, it's flat belly country. Like, a c country musician should have a pot belly. He, he, he doesn't like, like any, any guy that sings country and has abs. I, I think that's a good barometer to go by. I mean, I think this is, this is where Garth Brooks invented the, uh, the, typewriter. the, the, the wire work, right? Yeah. Like, if I were to float above the audience. I remember having a big fight with my mom about Garth Brooks. Uh, I don't, it's not important. I, I, <laughs> it, it sounds pretty important. <laughs> Because my mom, when I was growing up, she loved country music, and then I was really, I was like, oh, that Garth Brooks, he he knows where it's at, because he flies over the audience on a wire, and my mom was like, that you know, he's an asshole, and I and I, I was like, fuck you, because I, I, I was really offended, because I was starting to get into country music for because Garth Brooks uh, flew over. That's why I said I didn't want to talk about it. I'm just gonna cry. Oh, see, see, I, I thought I thought you, uh, you would not be on the Garth Brooks side. I had no idea. No, I was trying to. I mean, here, I'm on the arguing with my mom side. Like, no matter what, I'm 40 years old. I'll still like I'll have any excuse to fight with my mom. I was just like, oh, Garth Brooks, he's cool. Just to, I thought it would make her like me, and then she was like, nah, Garth Brooks. 
And I was like, I can't do anything right. Uh, it doesn't matter. See, I want to go, like, because I've never been really, I've been through Nashville, but tonight we, we actually, you know, the show's kind of early. We, we get to go out, and I've been told, like, I need to go out and hang out, like, on Broadway and go to some honky tonk bars. Like, that's what I want to do. Like, no? Huh? A Coyote Ugly? Okay, I take it back. I take it back. I went to a Coyote Ugly, Dan, on, on Thanksgiving a few years ago in New York, and not on purpose. I was with a friend, and it was Thanksgiving night, and I was with my friend Vanessa, and we were walking around, uh, uh, like, the Lower East Side, East Village, and we're trying to find a bar to go into on, on Thanksgiving, and I was really overdressed, and so was she, went to a fancy restaurant, and we're just trying to find a nice bar to drink in, but everything was either closed, or you walked in, and it was so depressing, because it was Thanksgiving, and it's just people, like, just, mm, just crying into their beers, or there were bars where people were really trying to pretend that they weren't sad, that they weren't with their families. <laughs> And it was really overcompensating, and it was just too much douchebaggery for one bar to contain. <laughs> and so it was, I said, it was freezing out, and the snow was falling. And we're like, look, whatever the next bar is, good, bad, or indifferent, we're going into that bar. And we see a sign up ahead, and we see some neon, we go, okay, that's, we're going to that bar. And a block away, she stops me, and she goes, Jeff, 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 no! No, 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 no. I'm like, no, we, we said, we made a deal, we're going into that bar. And she goes, that bar is coyote ugly. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, we're going in. So we go into the Coyote, coyote Ugly. There's nobody there except three Korean gentlemen who are really, really trying to just dig it. Like, trying to, like, you know, like they're, 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 they're hitting numbers at random on the jukebox and, like, like a, a George Strait song that George Strait doesn't like comes on. <laughs> his like, his <laughs> ill-fated, uh, I stubbed my toe. Uh, so I stubbed my toe. I go to the bar, and now when someone plays the songs that they are required by law, these two poor women that are kind of sexy, have to get up on the bar and joylessly dance around for you. And it's really like, look, don't do this for me. Like, like I, I'll, whatever they're paying you, I'll double it. And I had this really nice tie on, this Vivian Westwood tie, and this woman, this young girl who's the bartender, I, I found out she's from Colombia, and she was just hot as a Colombian lunch. Uh, she was very sexy. And uh, she jumps up on the bar, pours a shot, pours Cuervo tequila into her mouth, grabs me, squats down from on top of the bar, grabs my head, and spits a mouthful of Cuervo into my mouth. And I was like, swallow, barf. And then she takes some scissors out and grabs my brand new Vivian Westwood tie and starts to come at my tie, and I grab her hand like, 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 like uh, 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 Robert De Niro in Awakening. Like, <laughs> and I can't, she's like, you can't wear a fucking tie in here. You can't like, wear a fucking tie. <laughs> and uh, and it, it, yeah, it, it, was that ra it was that offensive an impression that she was doing of her homeland. And I grabbed her, and I, I thought on my feet, and I said, well, my father gave me this in his deathbed. He, my dad's not dead. My dad is not dead. I bought that tie. And she's like, okay. And she's like, well, then take it off and put it in your pocket. <laughs> because I, I, the corporation that owns this bar told me I have to cut it off and hang it on the wall. That's a gimmick. There are cameras everywhere. My family is in the back. <laughs> Duct taped to folding chairs. You have no idea how important this is to me. Wasn't there a TV show called Coyote Ugly? Isn't that a, oh, a movie? Sign? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Piper, yeah, good, good sign that Piper nothing... Caribou, whatever her name was, what, what, was what, the thing. What, Jeff, I just noticed these people while you were telling that story. Yeah, yeah she, got, she, got, she got all the drink orders wrong and it was the worst, but then we ended up having fun because it was so bizarre. I'm doing the rest of the show this direction. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you guys paid, uh, but it, this doesn't seem fair. Uh, what, what, what have we done so far that you didn't want? Uh, 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 oh, uh. <laughs> oh, uh oh. There's a civil war Fuck happening. Fuck you, stage in right audience. <laughs> also, my podium is awesomely made of plexiglass, so it's perfect crotch action for these people. Right here. Ladies. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Yes, Dan. Uh, I talked to a guy uh, back there while we were doing Jaeger Bombs, uh, a, a authentic Nashvillian yeah. named Josh. Uh, he brought moonshine with him. And uh, I've never had moonshine, and I thought he could come up and uh, give me a taste of moonshine on stage. That sounds awesomely illegal. Let's bring him up. Josh, everybody. It's one of the many, many hilarious gimmicks we can do here. Okay, so <laughs> a, a, a guy is coming up right now who looks like Dan Harmon's younger brother. 
And he has a brown paper bag. Go center stage, Josh. Okay, uh, I correct something real quick. I'm not an authentic Nashvilleian. I'm from Knoxville, but... Hey, 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 hey. Boo! 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 I'm representing the hill people who make the moonshine. So, uh, comes in a jar. You have to drink it out of a jar. All right, I'm drinking it out of the jar. Wait, is this, wait, but this is, this is labeled. This is like... Per- this is labeled. This is per- Are you a hill person? No, that's right. I feel like I can represent the That's good. I appreciate that. Okay, the, the mason jar is being cracked open. Feet right. or p- potentially. Can we get a lady up to listen to this for him? There we are. We got it. Well, wow, that's right. filled to the brim. Yeah, we learned a little bit about. Do, do I drink the whole jar? Is that? No, 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 no. You. <laughs> that'd be a very different Harmon town. In the birth of the music scene I'm drinking white like the thunder And you know my mother knows what you mean I got a Elvis on the left side Got some Beatles on the right I'm gonna go and do a southern thing tonight I got a moonshine and a wigwam wiggy Whoop whoop dee doop dap dee Southern thing. Oh shit! That tastes like. Uh, what does it taste like? That tastes like a. Uh, 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 it's probably watered down. Dream or... No, it's like you know, you know what it tastes like, and I don't mean it tastes like grappa. It's like I think isn't that that's like like Italian moonshine. It's really nice. It's. Uh, oh. it's it's, it's hill grappa. It, I tell you, it, it tastes like a fight with my girlfriend. <laughs> it, t- it tastes like it tastes like tonight. Aaron and I are gonna have a fight. No, you, you could you could probably run your car on this. <laughs> what, what is the proof on this thing? You know, 40, 50 percent, hundred proof. Yeah, I mean, I, I've had. Why strong... is there a barcode? <laughs> it's called Old Smoky. Okay. Old Smoky Tennessee Moonshine. It's quite good from oh, from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. No, I love it. I kind of it's good. The second sip tastes better than the third. Yeah. Wait, I mean, oh wait. And then time folded in on itself. Oh boy. Uh, okay. All right. You drink it from a jar, and uh, yeah. Thank so, you, so, so, thank you, Josh. Nashville. I love it. This is the best. I think all, all shows should start with us at the bar with the crowd, with a local uh, busker up here laying down the jams, and, and, a, and a dude comes up and just gives us booze. Yeah. I don't know if they'd agree. I mean, I, 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 we were thinking back there, like, let's start the show just earlier, but then, like, we didn't know if anyone was going to show up at the uh, appropriate time. Then they'd, they'd come in and we'd be doing, like, a raffle. Uh, I feel like we should get uh, Jim Lil up here at some point and uh, have a guitar and maybe improvise. No, we definitely should. Here's what I want to do in Nashville. Like, if we do nothing else, because it's Music City USA, I'm sorry, I'm going to be burping. uh, Are you okay? Moonshine. You you, you know a comic died here in 1983, the year it opened? I was talking to the owner. It was not moonshine related. No, that was... That was was 1983 related. (laughs) Guess guess what he was on. Uh, It it, it was probably a, a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, uh, yeah, we 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 want to. We definitely got to get the dude with the guitar up, and we we're gonna get some uh, some Rihanna's and some Tidos up here. <laughs> but I really, it, it fell on deaf ears when I said, "Does anyone can can do a beatbox?" There's not a single person here who can do a mean beatbox. We need some percussion. Can anybody? Can anybody? Fine, do a, a I'll pa- do it. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, can you beatbox? Let's, let's, let's give her a rip. Let's just get. We need to. Re- yeah, yeah, get up there. Well, okay. let's audition it. Yeah. Okay, I'll audition you. Yeah. No pressure. Okay. Beatbox! Beatbox! Yo, Josh's beatbox! It's a beatbox! It's an instrument! Yo, beatbox! It's an implement. Gonna rap to the
the beatbox jokes. It made some things. It's, it's good. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's an art form. Nashville, if you're going to be the birth of every musical art form that ever happens, like, uh, you know, blues and rock and roll and uh, what's the third one? Uh, typewriters. T- t- tie fighters? Typewriters. T- oh, t- I thought you said tie fighters. <laughs> Anyways. The first tie fighter was built in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> Uh, all right, Josh. Thank you for the moonshine. Uh, uh, go, go, go. <laughs> I assume. Uh, all right, get up here, lady. What's your name? Come on, get on up here. Are, are you leaving the moonshine with us? Yeah, sure. No, but let, 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 first of all, let's hear it for Josh for bringing this. It's fantastic. Where's crazy moonshine, lady? Crazy moonshine, lady. Where, where are you? There's a woman crying out for moonshine. That's Mandy. That's Josh's oh. girlfriend. I met I met a lot of you before the show. Oh, you've already had some. You're with Josh. Her, her whole relationship with Josh is based on constant imbibement of moonshine. She doesn't know what it's like to not be on it. She met him. She <laughs> I should have told her I have mouth herpes. I should have told her that. Yeah, if anything, we'll sterilize the mouth herpes. Moonshine kills the mouth herpes. <laughs> Tennessee, last state to leave the Union when the Civil War conflict happened? Or, uh, I'm sorry, aggression of the North? What do you call it? The War of Northern Aggression. The, the, the War of the North being an asshole. Uh, first state to be readmitted. I think that's very interesting. Wow. Yeah, Tennessee, is. last one out. La- first one back in, yeah. like, like just a just a quick like F- fuck it fuck it. <laughs> I think that's very interesting. Yeah. Which way is the wind blowing? North. Okay, I'll go. I fuck support you. that. That that I think that makes this state like my like I we were in Georgia and it was like holy shit these guys like they got the brunt of it but I like the idea of a state that was like is there a war is there a war okay yeah. ah, fuck it fuck it fuck it. <laughs> Not, not like the French in World War II, not like your pussies, I, 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 but, but more like you're practical. Like, like who, what the fuck was that war about? We don't even know. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm pouring myself a moonshine rocks. <laughs> um, I can I, I tell you a little, I don't know if this will be entertaining to people because I'm three sips of moonshine in. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Uh, we at the at the at the hotel on the elevator. The elevator opened up, and there was a guy. He worked for the hotel. He was going down. Uh, we he didn't need to get off on the floor that we were getting off on, but he had a big luggage rack full of paint supplies and shit. And uh, uh, we we Aaron and I were going down. To, he, we were trying to squeeze in, and he's like, you know what, let me get off uh, and uh, so you guys can get on, and I'll, I'll take the next elevator. The elevator door closed, and Aaron and I are sitting in the elevator, and Aaron, <laughs> Aaron re- referencing the guy that just did that went, huh, that's what they call Nashville style. <laughs> and I said, I think you mean Southern hospitality. <laughs> and she said, no, no, it's Nashville style. I, I knew it wasn't funny. I, th- I, I thought it was really funny because I, th- I was thinking in my head, that's a Southern husband. Nashville style. She made up a new thing. Sorry. Is there a Nashville style? I don't know if there's a... Somebody well, out there? I, I'm sure there is, huh? but I'm sure it has nothing to do with awesome. elevators. Yeah, so we, we've gone to, uh, so far, well, Phoenix, no, no one's proud of being from Phoenix. So I'll, I'll, I'll erase that one. But Atlanta and Austin that we've been to, people very, very proud of being from those cities. I take it you guys are all pretty proud of being uh, from Nashville too, right? Like, is it? No? Uh, it, no? Okay, I take it back. You guys hate Nashville. There's always going to be, Jeff, there's always going to be a swirl of, like, weird reactions to that shit. Like, like because people have, like, this need to go, like, uh, fuck the uh, and and I, I I support you, like 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 the like fuck whatever you think coming into our carnival town, you know, uh, uh, fuck what you think. Like I'm, I'm no, I'm different. I'm different. I'm I, we're cosmopolitan. We're different. I I, 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 I they, they cry out for individuality. Mandy cries out for moonshine. No. <laughs> You, you and I are not going to go into a single town where we go, hey, Nashville, you love uh, tires, right? And everyone goes like, we love tires. 
There's always somebody who's going to go like, we don't love tires that much. Fuck you. Like, we're human beings. Like, we don't represent tires. Uh, we're normal. Uh, we, we, uh, what's, we a good, what's a good, like, honky-tonk bar for, for us to go to afterwards? Huh? Roberts? Or, or Wild Horse? Roberts? Let's hear it for Wild Horse. Let's hear it for applause. Let's hear it for Roberts. Right. Let's hey, Jeff. Hear, yeah. Let's hear for Chewy's Tex Mex. Yeah! <laughs> okay. that, that surprised me. That yeah. surprised me. There's one right. near our hotel. We're in uh, Music City, USA. I don't know if I've said that enough. Yes, you, ha- you, you have said that. Uh, also known as the Paris of uh, Georgia, whatever the fuck. <laughs> uh, Jeff, the Pringles dick song. Yes. I, I, I don't know if there's somebody operating the light board that's able to like isolate you in a... Uh, do we have, air, do we have air, light capabilities, like, like specials up in the booth? Is there, any, no? is, there, is there anybody that's able to isolate Jeff in a spotlight? Yeah? Sex, do we have sexy lights? Perfect. That's just great. That's really great. <laughs> right, what's the, what? I wanted to get uh, Jim uh, Lil. Yeah, but did, does he know it? He doesn't bet, know the song. I bet you could teach Jim, him. Jim, do you know the, the Pringles dick song? Well, get, get your guitar up here. I'll get my ukulele from backstage, and we'll, 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 we'll learn it together. This is in preparation of... Uh, of, of we want to leave Nashville with a, a superior version of the uh, Harmontown theme. I want to do some practicing. Jeff's got his ukulele. Look at this kid here. Welcome Jim Lil back to the stage, everybody. Here, he can he can have this one. Yeah, I, think I, I I can play this high enough. Okay, so does anybody know the Pringles Dick song? I don't know if anybody from the podcast. Probably not. Woo! It's a song I wrote. It's a, it's, a, it's about on the tour bus and you have Pringles and you hold them in your lap <laughs> like it's your dick, and it's it's, it's a song about. A if guy. any of you have ever held a Pringles can to your like, dick so and pretended like it was your dick. Right. So like right, right, right now I'd be ukulele dick and I would, you know, but I couldn't, I couldn't be, you, well, I guess I could play a song like you. So it's, it's, it goes like this. So I, I think it's in D. It goes D, G, A7. I think there's like a, a, a B flat in there somewhere. It's like, it's like clean yeah, And then like, then, 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 so I guess I guess I guess. I guess, so, so I'll, I'll, I'll go. Some people call me Pringles dick. But I never really found out why. I don't really have a Pringles dick. I just keep my dick inside. I keep my dick inside a Pringles can because it keeps my penis safe and dry. Some people call me Pringles dick, but I never really found out. No, I never found out. I never really found out why. I I think I got that. I think I got that. What, what tempo should we do it in? Like, how should we do it? Do you want to keep it sad or should we, should we keep, make it move a little bit? <laughs> let's, let's make this sucker move. Let's do this in a Nashville style. It's a thing. It's a thing now. Nashville style. <laughs> oh, some people call me Pringles dick, but I never really found out why. I don't really have a Pringles dick, I just keep my dick inside. I keep my dick inside a Pringles can because it keeps my penis safe and dry. Some people call me Pringles dick, but I never really found out. No, I never found out, I never really found out why. Yo, 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 potato chips on my dick. I, I wanna put my dick inside a stick. Got a, a can on my hand, don't wanna do it, but I thought I'd do a rap bridge, but I'm doing badly. Although dick that boop things have a do to I'll make it mouth noises and jump strutting. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry. I I I, I got cocky because I you guys are having fun. Seem like you guys are having fun. Some people call me Pringles dick, but I never really found sorry. out why. Sing it everybody. I won't do it again. I don't really have a Pringles dick, I just keep my dick inside. So sorry about what it is. Keep my dick inside a Pringles can. Yeah. 
need my beer to save and trap. Yeah, yeah. Some people call me crazy, but I never really found out. No, I should give up. I never really found out why. He go, go, yo. Oh, sorry. 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 St stay up here, Jim. Park, park it. Will you stay here? Yeah, make yourself here? comfortable. Because we already, we, 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 we've got this theme song developing. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it time to bring up, like, like, like we, we bring up some female vocalists who, uh... Do we, do, do we have any more microphones back there? Wait, we, we have Spencer's mic. <laughs> do we have 50 more microphones? <laughs> oh, right, we got this one. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you can go, uh, uh, whoever comes up can go, uh, you know, freestyle. Okay. Now, I, I was introduced, a, a girl came up and she said her friend wants to sing. Is Ashley out there right now? <laughs> Ashley to the stage. You've been outed by your friend, was it Melissa? Yeah, yeah Melissa has, uh, has, uh, has, has uh, volunteered. It, she volunteered you. All right, Ashley, everybody. Here's your microphone. Uh, here, I'll move the vodka. Where, I need the moonshine. Oh, you want the moonshine? <laughs> All right. Woo! <laughs> this guy, what do we do for this guy? This guy is the worst seat in the house. <laughs> He's the Jesus Christ of, of, of seating. Well done. Like, your, your field of view is slightly better. Like, this guy is the worst. <laughs> He's like, 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 exclusively looking at everyone's ass. What's your name, sir? Justin. Justin, like, 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 there's gotta be something we can do for Justin. Show him your balls. All right. All right. Now, Ashley, have you heard the song? Have you, have you been following the podcast? Uh, is this the penis one? <laughs> Probably. Mm -hmm. What we, podcast we like have you been to listening to? One, if you have a penis song. <laughs> No, not no. If you, if you mean Pringles, Dick, then no, no. Our, our song about Harmontown and, and pee and poo. Have you heard that song? No, but I will collaborate. All right, so uh, okay, here we go. We'll, we'll play it to just so we can uh, we can uh, get you uh, up to speed. We'll give you a little primer. With, oh shit! I have to go back. We're just to gonna do a trial run. All right, one second. All right. Where are you? Okay, here we are. You can't just you can't you can't just say syllables. Yo, so it goes like this. Come Yo. on down to Harmon Town. Turn your frown upside down. Pee is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmon Town. Come on down to Harmon Town. Turn your frown upside down. Pee is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmon. Take it right. Come on down to Harmon Town. My <laughs> Overqualified. Overqualified. <laughs> make, up, make up your own words, you know what I mean? We're getting tired. We've become tired of our own words now. So if you want to just freestyle, here we go. Start. Come on down to Harmon Town. So Jim, it's uh, it's it's E minor uh, C G D I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Come, come, come on down to Harmontown. Turn that frown upside down. P is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmontown. You guys are some of the best songwriters I've heard in Nashville. I, I I've outdone myself on this one. I won an Emmy for it. Come on down to Harmon Town. No, I'm helping you. Come on down. Okay. All right. I'll sing, I'll sing Harmony. I'll sing yeah. with you. I've, ha I've had three sips of that jar. No, I have one. Sorry. I've got... I've got... Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yo. Yo. Sing the melody. I'll do Harmony. All right, what? No, we got to get her to learn the lyrics first. Come on down to Harmon Town. Turn your frown upside down. He is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmon Town. 
salt shakers on the table. I hope I'm rapping. I hope I'm able. I'm in a club called Sadie's in Nashville. I hope I give you the whole ticket price fill. I hope I get able to give you what she's doing at the same time as I'm rapping. I'm so confusing. It's so weird. It's, it's happening at the same time. And my beard is Come on it's, down. It's happening. It's, it's, everything's static. It's, it's weird. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, it's, let's, I'm going to hang back. I'm going to. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Bravo. Right. Right. Ashley, we open in three nights. All right. Ready. That was nice. Well done. Yeah. Go, Ashley. Ashley, you, you're scaring me right now. <laughs> just, just, she just fixed her gaze on me. It was like, like, the, like the predator with the three laser beams. And there's not a single person in Nashville that can do percussion. There's nobody well, here that's in any totally form. That's a totally different question. <laughs> People can do percussion. People can come up here and just bang on like the stool or something, I bet. Yeah. All right, let's just check it. I thought it was, what, we got a hand. You're a drummer? All right, get up here. What's your name? Huh? Oh, Josh. Josh. Wow. Josh. Oh, Josh. Oh, Josh. Oh, Josh. <laughs> Purveyor of corn squeezings and percussion. Fantastic. Uh, why don't you go take Spencer's table uh, and... Uh, uh, yeah, that, that'll be your drum. Okay. Unless you see anything else that you can percuss upon. Uh, I, I, everything. All right. All right. We, 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 should, we, we have to name our band. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the Flesh Knives. The, the Flesh Knives? The Flesh Knives? The Flesh Knives. Har Harmon and the Harmenians. That's good. <laughs> Still bummed out for these guys. Like, I can't, we got to make it right for them. Hey, guys. Hey, stage right. Right, should, should we should we try to like improvise a new song like with uh, with Jim Lilla guitar like we can like, do something new or do you want to you want to keep going with the harmony? No, no, we haven't we, we haven't even we haven't even nailed down the uh, Mandy. Take it easy. <laughs> Mandy's pissed as a fucking parrot over there. So am I. I'm just trying to cling to the. I'm like Sylvester Stallone in that movie about him clinging to the cliffs and the hanging. <laughs> cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, I know it's called cliffhanger. It could have been Rocky too. It's like about, it could be, Rocky could be about a guy that climbs rocks. Uh, Dan, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're hanging by a thread over there. I just need there. one. I, I just I've need never one, seen you like this, man. Just give me one more sip of the. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to. You hold this man. Good idea. While you're prepping, I just want to say the reason that no one had like a resounding round of applause for being from Nashville is because uh, no one that lives in this city is from this city. That makes sense. No, I know, I, I get that. I'm not, I, don't, I never expect to come through some town and go, hey, you guys love cheese. You made the uh, Wikipedia that you make cheese. Oh, I love cheese. Oh, it came all over this morning. Like, I know that everyone that is like a Harmontown person is gonna be like, what are you talking about? Just an alcoholic on stage right now. Just a big, big bottle of booze. It tastes so good. It tastes so good. All right. All right. We're all going to jail tonight. We're gonna do this dry run. Then we're gonna get these fuckers off stage. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do some social commentary. We're gonna play D and D. Bring them back up. And then we're gonna get the crowd going. Everything's gonna be great. Then the, uh, they're gonna bring you your checks. And then it's a cash bar. I got this whole evening planned out. And they're all going to Roberts or whatever it's called. We're doing this dry run first. This is how it's going to go. We got to get what's your name? Rachel, uh, Madeline, uh, Ashley, N N N Ashley. Tracy S Ashley? Simpson. Ashley. Yeah. I'll do the Ashley Simpson dance. Sure. Do it. All right. Can you, can you, do, can you do the Ashley Simpson dance? <laughs> all right. No. You're drunker than Dan. <laughs> That's what happens when you load a crowd at an hour and a half early at a bar. Yeah. Everybody's just mortally drunk right now. Love it. Do a dry run. Ready? 
You want to rap first or you want her right. to rap? No. Placeholder don't, rap. Don't sing Place over his rap. rap. No rapping on you sing. Like Dan Harmon, placeholder rap. I'm just rapping, rapping about Nashville and that. Just rapping, rapping the things, and then I, I cue you, and that's when you start to sing. That's when I start to rap some more. And then the crowd starts to swarm and swore and swore. Then everybody starts to get crazy because I'm, oh, I'm rapping even though the moonshine may be hazy. I start to rap and I rap again. And then when I point to you, you start to sing again. You go, come on down to Harmon Town. Turn the crowd upside down. Struggle. Yo, I, I think we're done. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Okay. So that, 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 that was our that was our dress rehearsal, right? right? All right. So we're gonna send you back into the audience now, Ashley and uh, and uh, Jim and Josh. We're gonna send you back. We're gonna bring you back up later on for the for the uh, yeah for the reprise. All right. We'll start practicing. All right. Good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Going back and like make the G chord match to the C chord. <laughs> yeah, that's Nashville. No, that's exactly how it works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Josh, Jim, uh, Tr Tracy, Morgan. <laughs> Tracy Morgan was up here? I, I suppose now it's uh, the time to bring up our dungeon master, Spencer Crane. Wow. Oh, yeah. shit! Sharpening your dice, or uh, you soak them in alcohol. Is that true? Yeah, it, it appeases the the gods of luck. <laughs> well, I, I, I've so I've been soaking myself in alcohol, and I'm very appeased. Well, I can't roll you too easily, but let's see. Do you want some moonshine? Do, do you drink? Uh, n n this is bad. bad Spencer, bad. have some moonshine. You have to. Uh, yeah. We're in Nashville because. Now, Spencer, uh, Sp uh, Spencer uh, on the road, is, uh, he's a huge fan of Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is originally a slang term for moonshine. Yeah. Because they made, it, they made it by the moonlight. Yeah, uh, so uh, uh, the, the dew and the thing. And the, uh, so uh, this is some real Mountain Dew. If I vomit, you guys, don't hold it against me. I never will. <laughs> I'll slather myself in it. My lips are numb. <laughs> He announced it. All right. if, if, well, this is a tour of firsts. We certainly are the first comedy tour, I think, to travel on a tour bus with our own dungeon master. Yeah. Almost certainly we're the first show to have a dungeon master drink moonshine but before mastering a dungeon. So this is a... Probably the last. All right, do you want to dispense our character sheets there? Yeah, we're going to need Aaron up here then. Oh, I also... Uh, let's bring up Aaron McGaffey. Aaron McGathy, Dan's girlfriend, Mulrain Sedona. Aaron, everyone. I love your Nashville style. <laughs> <laughs> how, how would you define Nashville style, Aaron? <laughs> uh, it's kindness uh, from strangers. It's kind of hospitality and a not north region, but like below it. <laughs> Nashville style. Can I get some of that moonshine? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I want to commit to this fight that we're having later. Yeah. <laughs> what should we fight about? I feel like I drink a tree. <laughs> it just feels like drinking a tree. It's really good. Uh, it's so good, but well, I... Well, and you know, uh, drinking too much makes Spencer sick. Yeah, that's why I said the vomit thing. <laughs> I just want to be cool, you, you guys! No, don't do it, don't do it to Spencer. Spencer, you're, you're in safe surroundings. Uh, it, 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 we'll take very good care of you. Unless that guy poisoned everyone. Well, I think it tastes fine. It's like water. Yeah, it, it tastes like water. <laughs> no, it doesn't. 
I always drink my water from under the sink. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> who's, who's got the lid? I got it. Can I? Yeah. Take one and pass it down. All right. We're all going to fuck tonight, you guys. Spencer, if you would, get us up to date. Last time, Sharpie and Quark parted ways with Mulrain, the half-elf. The ranger had some business to attend to elsewhere with arrows and possibly magic belts to locate. The duo pressed onwards, hoping to arrive in time to assist Mango against the threat of Admiral Darkstar's Dark Armada. Arriving at the scene of a great battle, the heroes watched in horror as legions of cylindrical constructs pushed back the barbarian horde. The cylinders seemed to be pressing towards a great excavation site, a huge pit in the ground near the yellow camp. In a moment of clarity, or madness, Sharpie leapt into action and hurled Quark at one of the floating cylinders. Clinging on for dear life, Quark could only watch in confusion as a swarm of cylinders descended into the pit, <laughs> retrieving a massive golem. A flying ship reeled it in and then flew away. With Quark in tow, the cylindrical army retreated to the ship. The ship sailed north. The group was split. That's right. I don't know if you heard that podcast. Yeah, so I, I, I've uh, reluctantly f uh, clung on to a flying cylinder and boarded a giant spaceship, which is presumably Admiral Darkstar's mother ship, right? Perhaps. Right. So I'm, uh, I'm separated from Sharpie and, and Mulrain for the first time. I should mention that your healing pendant has brought you back to full health. So, I, so I'm back to 40 hit points? Yeah. 40 hit points, motherfucker! <laughs> oh! Forty hit points. I'm sorry, it's the moonshine. I'm sorry. Oh boy. They love hit points. Oh. Okay, sorry. All right, so uh, it's, uh, can I, do I go first or what? If you want to decide for yourselves, or I could roll randomly. Uh, I'll decide to go first. All right. Uh, I, I examine my new strange surroundings. Hanging on for dear life on the Candroid, you watch as a line of the constructs flies back into the ship. The room you're now inside of is large, full of metal racks. Several circular hatches on the floor look as if they exit out from the bottom of the ship. The Candroids hear the, uh, float onto metal racks before settling down into place with light clunks. You can hear the hum of large machinery coming from all around you. <laughs> um... So, uh, are, are there any doors in the room I'm in? You can see a large metal door opposite the hatch you came in on. Above I, you is a metal ladder leading to a hatch in the ceiling. I climb the ladder. You climb the ladder. <laughs> now you're at the hatch. It is closed. I, I uh, use all my barbarian strength to open the hatch. You wow. use all of your barbarian strength. No, it just opens. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> As you poke Better your safe head than sorry. As you poke your head through the hatch, you can see the slithering yellow demons that you fought before. Ooh. They wail painful wails as they move about. They take no notice of you. Metal pipes, tubes, and gauges are lining the walls of the chamber. You can see three doors, left, right, and center. Are those doors labeled in any way? Left, right, and center. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good thinking. Um... What, uh, can I make it to a door undetected? You can certainly try. I, 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 I use my, my, my gnome ability to sneak, and I, I, I sneak towards the first door, the left door. All right. Do you have any ranks and move silently? Do, don't I? Probably not, but... I, th I thought I was like, good at like, sneaking about. Uh, maybe. I have, I have fast movement. I use my fast movement. All right. <laughs> Moving swiftly, you cross the floor. You make it towards the... What door? The center door? Left door. Left door. This door is locked. There's scra strange script written on the door. You don't understand the language. I go to the center door. <laughs> you, you approach the center door. You hear the sound of large explosions coming from the other side of the door. <laughs> oh, nice. I open the door. You open the door, and what you see is so... We cut to another character. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, act break. Gold bond powder. <laughs> Sharpie, you're standing out front of Yellow Camp. Corpses and destroyed machines litter the ground. The remaining barbarians are hauling their own into the great tent. The gnolls are also gathered around their dead, but rather than burying or hauling the corpses, the gnolls strip their brethren 
and then consume the fallen. Cannibalism is never glamorous. Yeah. You can see your father standing at the entrance of the great tent. He's surveying the work being done. From the east, you can see a horse and rider fast approaching. Dad. <laughs> yes? I mean, yes. Come clean with me. What the hell's going on? Who's this, what's, who's this Admiral Darkstar? I don't know. They just came down in those ships. Did you see that shit? That was crazy. <laughs> the sky opened up. But okay, I got I got some new I got some bad bad news to tell you. <laughs> you know how I said I had like a couple shards? Yeah. They're gone. What do you I, mean? I still have the I still have yet to poop out that other one, but Wait, what do you mean? I think they've been stolen. Dad Gasp. You know what? I grew up my whole life thinking that you thought I was a piece of shit. I come back, turns out you're a piece of shit! Well, that's the barbarian way. Well, he does a little dance. What, is he, what was that? What that's was, the barbarian way. It's like Nashville style. Nashville style. <laughs> oh, but Nashville style. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, lame. Yeah, lame. Fine. I accept that I'm lame. Where, where did your friend go? Uh, I hoisted him onto a cylinder, and he's now in the mothership of these things that you're fighting with that you don't know anything about. And I'm a piece of shit? <laughs> I, uh, I just... Are you going to go after him? I'd like to. Uh, okay. Well, can you fly? You're a wizard, right? A lizard? A, a, a wizard. Uh, I'm sorry, Dad. I've had a lot to drink. I can't enunciate. <laughs> Yes, I'm a wizard. I don't. I, can no, I can't. I, Dad, I can't fly. I can. I can feather fall when you throw me out a window. Well, I can. I can. I can abate uh, physical feeling when you hit me with a belt. <laughs> I can. I can. I can create a bubble around myself emotionally when you make me feel like a piece of shit. That's not even magic. That's just. That's just therapy. What uh, is? What is therapy? Dad. We love you. <laughs> I hug him. I give him a plus one hug. <laughs> Only one? Yeah. Hug successful. <laughs> you, you seem to have broken through. Dad, don't you get it? Power doesn't have a definition. Some of us are magicians. Some of us are barbarians. Power is power. Like, there's nothing more important than the bond between father and son. Like, like, like you're a barbarian. I'm a, I'm a magic user. It's just, that, that's the way it goes. The important thing is our name. Like, like we, we, gotta, we gotta bring these fucking ships down. My, 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 my friend is up on one of them. What are you doing? Logging in my iPad. Oh. oh. He, you've touched him. You've touched, your words have touched him. The hug was touching. <laughs> touching occurs. Says, you're right, you know, you are my son, and you're greater at magic than I will ever be. So now it's time for you to have this. He takes the multicolored cloak off his shoulders and bestows it upon you. He says, this cloak is made from the very canvas that forms these great tents and is infused with great ma magic. It can give you the power of limited teleportation. Yeah! Is my power. I got it by minute by minute, hour by hour. I got a clip from my dad. Now I can go places. Whoa, yeah! Oh, races. Oh, shit. All right. Sorry. Little dance break. Oh, yeah, all races. Mole Rain, you're among the trees in a small grove. Aye. Few venture to this grove as knowledge of the magical forest died along with your five children in the massive blaze that consumed your home. Yes, I, I remember. I think about it every day. <laughs> you hear the winning and neighing of a struggling horse not far off, breaking your meditation. Uh, uh. <laughs> Is there an animal in pain? I, I rush to the animal. Winnie, neigh. <laughs> you see a horse tied to a tree and a woman sitting on the ground propped up against a tree. Upon closer inspection, you realize the woman is dead. Her throat is slit, and a dagger is sitting on the ground nearby. There's a piece of parchment Jesus on the paper. Christ. 
It's a harsh world. There's monsters and They're shit. They're on spaceships, and I'm dealing with a, a mutilated woman. <laughs> it's important. Dear woman, I... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I must... I must bury you. I must show you the honor that my children were not shown. I... She I doesn't bury. respond. Okay. <laughs> no. No, you must be awake. Please, wake up, please. I slap her face the, in the sad way when someone does it in a, in a movie ma- based on a Michael Crichton film. I keep on <laughs> hitting her face. Yep. <laughs> I, 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 I try to untie the horse. You untie the horse. It stands and regards you. <laughs> ah, dear horse, I regard you as well. I nuzzle the horse. The horse is nuzzled. <laughs> it seems as if it, it wants to say something. <gasps> no, not like that. <laughs> you have wild empathy. You can empathize with the horse. It seems to say... I, I use my wild empathy. You can, you can ride on me. <laughs> Horses aren't very eloquent. Dear horse, I hear your message and I shall do your bidding. I will ride you. <laughs> All right. The horse I, is just standing there now. The, the horse is standing there. Okay, I leap upon the horse and I'm really cute when I do it. Up, uh, leaping upon the saddle, you notice a bit of paper sticking outside the saddle. I ignore the paper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, 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 I pick up the paper. I always ignore the paper. Yeah, fuck it. I, I read the paper. I read nothing. the paper. Probably never, never. never read the paper. It's probably nothing. <laughs> to whoever reads this, know that I was a man. Known for my comically oversized pants, I was always tripping over my own legs. In search of a belt, I finally found one after slaying a group of orcs. When I put it on, I realized that I'd become a woman. So I killed myself. Have a nice day. Don't wear this belt, unless you're into that sort of thing. Signed, Baggy Pants O'Houlihan. It's a note from Sinbad. <laughs> oh my. I, 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 I'm excited. I, I start to cry a little bit. I do a little dance. I, I find the belt. The belt's are around the dead woman, right? Yes. I, I grab the belt. That happens. I, I, I put the belt on. You, you put on the belt. You're transformed into a man, a woman. Well, woman, man, woman. Well, who, whoa! Ooh, oh, 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 oh! I'm back. I shake out my long, long hair, and I, I, I puff my breasts. That's a thing, right? <laughs> Are you looking to see if puff, puffing your breasts is a thing? Critically puffed. <laughs> I must, I must find Sharpie. But first, I, I fashion a dress out of leaves. That happens. <laughs> and I, I get on the horse and I start heading towards Sharpie. Okay, cut back to da- uh, Quark. Which door were you going for again? I was going to the door with the explosions going on behind. Ah, me. center door. You open the door. The room is long, running the length of the ship. Several cannons are lined up, aimed outside of the ship. A few of those yellow demons, as well as one black creature, are roaming up and down the aisle. Occasionally, one slithers up to a cannon, adjusts it, and fires it off with a loud explosion. They are, don't regard you. Are these, are these the, um, the harpoon cannons, or are just regular? Like, like, these like, are regular cannons. Regular cannons. Hmm. <laughs> is there anything beyond the, uh, the... Is there a door beyond those people? There's no door. It just leads back to the main room. Can I... I, uh, I, 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 I intimidate them. You intimidate, uh, which there's two different kinds of monsters. Uh, I intimidate the, the, the who, who's more threatening, the slimy guys or the, the black dude? Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I'd say the black uh, creature is a bit more uh, threatening. Yeah, you would. Yeah, uh, well, typical. Uh, I, I, I try to intimidate the black guy. Oh. <laughs> What's your, uh, what's your Intimidate bonus? Uh, my Intimidate... Where the hell... Uh, nine. You Intimidate him. 
He doesn't seem to speak the same language as you, but he cowers in fear. He starts hissing. Uh, power attack. <laughs> uh, one, or th- one, two, three. What, what's the difference? What, you should, I, I would say the, more, the higher the number, the less accurate, but the more damage. Okay, two. Two? Yeah. Oh, critical hit. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you all ready for this? <laughs> you slice the monster in half, and it burns into pieces. All right. What, what, do, the slimy, what do the slimy guys do? They, they look at you. Before continuing on, I, I I run past them to the opposite end of the corridor. That happens. I, is there, I, I I look for a door to, to move to move through it. There's no other doors, just the one that leads back to where you came. Hmm. Say what? Berserker. I, I, or she wants me to go into Berserker rage. I don't, I don't even know. Uh, is there any use for the, for me to use these cannons? I mean, if you want to like shoot things, maybe, like on the ground. Say what? Attack the slugs, but I, they're they're not doing me any any dirt. Yeah. Okay, so I, 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 use a, I, I use flaming sword on one of the slimy guys. Yeah. You miss. Shit. <laughs> now what? The slug turns and faces you. It quickly slithers to a button and hits it. Uh-oh. Ooh. You hear a siren. <laughs> Cut to... Uh, Dan. Oh, yeah. Uh, You're back with your father. You're having a tender moment. Right. The horse and rider approaches. But he gave me his curtain, right? His, yeah, uh, he, he has your cloak. Cloak. It rides up. It's an elven. Fe- it's a half elf female. <laughs> Yay! Hi, hi. Well, right. You're a woman. Yes, I am. I shake out my hair, and it's like sparkles and stars fall from my hair. I, 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 I have. I have my dad's cloak now. <laughs> this is a, a relationship born in uh, 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 horrible uh, self-interest. I don't, I don't understand what you mean. Well, I, 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 you know, I can, I can provide for you now because I can teleport, and now you have a vagina. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we've. Been I always had a mind vagina. <laughs> On my way over here, I realized that you should have fallen in love with me as a person and not as a beautiful woman that I am. So perhaps for a little while, we should just be companions. Well, I... What? Dungeon snap. Dungeon snap. I, I have an aside with the horse. The horse looks at you. Horse, I... I love him so much, I just want to know that it's real. It, I'm just a horse. <laughs> and that's why I love you too, horse. That's why I love you too. I love hay. <laughs> oh, horse. I turn back. Hey, listen. I, I don't know what I did wrong before you were a chick, but I, I, I think you're, 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 you're really attractive now. I, I, I didn't... I did, well, my, my, my friend is uh, on a spaceship. Yes, and let's help him. Yes, He's yes, always been there for me. Yes. Let's 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 <laughs> let's go rescue him. No, please, let's rescue him. Yes. <laughs> no, let's rescue him. Let's please. Dad, I'll, I'll be there. Dad. Hey, hey, what? Huh? Is there any way I can use your coat of teleportation to 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 teleport up to the spaceships that? Well, you. Can I grab your moon shot? Can I take your moon <laughs> You're hitting that pretty hard, man. This jar is like half empty. Can I can I grab your can I can I grab your uh, smart juice from you? <laughs> you can teleport to anything you see, maybe. Or like, there's a couple places you could just go to without seeing. You gotta finesse it. <laughs> Not do good I with s- the magic. Do I see the dark star starships? You can see it on the horizon. All right, it's very I, far away. I use my cloak to try to teleport to the to to, to them. Can you, I jump inside the cloak? In a whirling flourish, you teleport. You find yourself in a metal room. Cannons light the room, and oh. a barbarian gnome stands before you. Hey! I did it! Sharpie! Sharpie! I, Sorry. Sorry. I teleported Blair. myself to certain death. Am I there? Or I'm still You're or? there. Okay. Hey! You're all there. <laughs> Sharpie! 
Are you there? Mulrain! It's me, and now I'm a lovely lady. Wow, that changes everything. <laughs> nice leave dress. Thank you, I fashioned it. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, there's a slimy guy who's firing cannons over here. Uh, little help? I, uh, I, I take two arrows. <laughs> I fire the arrows at the slimy guys. Uh, you, do you have your sheet? Oh. What's your attack bonus? Uh, it's like a thousand. It's like a thousand. Uh, you hit with both arrows. Woohoo! Really? Yeah. I, guys, I hit with two arrows. <laughs> Your arrows strike the remaining demon in the eyes. It falls you. dead. Huh? I just helped you. Thousand bonus. Well, he knew I was kidding. He adjusted it. I read it on our sheet. Right. It's All right. plus three. All right, we should probably stop there, right? Cliffhanger! Yeah. Cliffhanger! <laughs> Spencer, everybody. Hey, Dan, can we uh, do that raffle? The raffle, really? Where's that stuff? So I'm going to roll some dice, and people are randomly going to get stuff. I mean, person? Oh, person. shit, yeah. 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 So, uh, so if Spencer calls your name uh, after the show, come up to the merch booth. And we'll get you any size t-shirt and color. Also, Merch Booth is going to be open after the show. Two t-shirts for $25. Uh, also, posters and all sorts of things. So Spencer's rolling dice right now to find out which of you wins uh, yeah. apparel. And there's sled. eight pages, so I rolled a D8 to determine which page. Excellent. And there's 11 names per page, so I rolled a D12. And if there's a 12, I disregard it. I came up with Connor Johnson. Connor Johnson. Connor nice Connor Johnson. Johnson. What up? Right, see you after the show. He gets free stuff. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jeff. I love you, Jeff. Jeremy Gaffey. You too, sweetheart. Richard Ice Malin. <laughs> Can I get those sheets? Holy shit, Jeff. Lesson we learned in Nashville. Don't, don't take the moonshine. I kind of like it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm in a nice... Oh, it's like, great. Kinda, I kind of like it, too. I'm kind of a... But, uh, I'm kind of in a groovy, it? groove chicken mode right now. I love it. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have fun tonight. Are we all going to go out afterwards and uh, like, find a place? Where are we going to go? I don't Robert's. Robert's. We're going to Robert's, apparently. Okay. Is, it, is, there, is there room for all of us there? Can we fit in there? Yeah. All right. Is there food? Yeah. All right. Fried bologna. Fried bologna? Holy smoke. Sounds good. All right. El, it's Elvis style, right? Open Elvis style. <laughs> it's hack. It's hack. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jeff. Do you guys want me to leave? No, no. Stay up there, man. Stay. You'll be our Doc Severinsen. Uh-huh. You okay, Dan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you fine. Seem, you seem like you're kind of just descending into some sort of weird madness. <laughs> I may be slowly going blind, uh, as they say. Are, are you happily drunk right now, or are you, are, are you concerned? Well, I want to make sure that the audience tonight got their fill, like their, uh, their ticket price fill. What was, the, what was the ticket price? Hey, camera head. 23? 23. 23. Yeah. 25. They pay 10 bucks in California to come see us. We gotta make sure. We gotta make sure that everybody got what they uh, what they wanted to get tonight. How do we do that? We take them on a bear hunt. <laughs> All right. Here, hold this. All right. We're going on a bear hunt. <laughs> hey, wait, what, what's going on here? Yeah. I am terrified. Oh, there's a river. We're going across the river. I don't see a bear anywhere yet. What on earth? Oh, we're in the other river. Oh, there's a tree. Time to climb the tree. <laughs> Look at the people in the back are refusing to climb the tree. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's a kindergarten thing. Look around. Is there a bear? I don't see a bear. All right, come back down. Oh shit, there's a bear! Oh fuck, 
I don't, I don't remember how the rest of it goes. I didn't never, I, I, I don't know what is going on. Right, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that was an actual option. I don't know. <laughs> sorry. That was. I, Yeah, What's you, up? You guys bet there's Mike Cord. Oh, she knows how to do the actual bear hug. All right, let's get her up here. Let's get her up. Yeah. Get up here. Is it Jen? Jen? Right, come up, come up Jen, and do the real bear Jen, hug. She, she's a teacher. She's, uh, she's not drinking tonight. Hey, yeah? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, yeah, Jen's husband, uh, Rob. Rob? Bob. Bob is going to come up and have some moonshine from the herpes jar. And uh, a very reluctant school teacher, Jen. Jen, you're a foxy school teacher. You, what, what grade do you teach? <laughs> first grade, good. Okay, yeah. If you taught high school, holy shit. I'm afraid of high schoolers. Huh? I'm afraid of high schoolers. I'm afraid of high schoolers too. This is gonna get. What do you want me to do? Okay, so I, well, you're gonna do bear hunt. We're gonna we're gonna learn how to do bear hunt right. It, it's a, it's a song. Yeah, yeah. Of course you can. It, it's actually a song. So. Oh, good. <laughs> There's cords well, everywhere. I do well in front of people. Okay. <laughs> I think I need both hands for this. All right. So you start, you're going on a bear hunt, so you have to tap your legs like you're walking. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going. Wait, wait, wait. If I'm going to hold the mic, I need the moonshine. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> well, we're going to take this really okay. seriously. Okay. So you're supposed to repeat after me. That's what I make my kids do. <laughs> All right. I'm going on a bear hunt. I'm gonna catch a big one. With big green eyes. And a fuzzy little tail. Look over there. It's a, oh, I can't remember the lyrics. Um, <laughs> it's a wolf. It's, no, it's a. a Badger. It's a Groundhog. something field. It's like Weeder a dog. it's like a jello field. That's what it is. <laughs> and you have to <laughs> you have to go through the jello field. Are you on and acid right now? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. This is okay. a Dr. Gene song. All Look right. it up. Okay. Okay. So you have to go through the jello field and you have to jiggle. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't remember the rest of it. All right. We're going back on a bear hunt. Okay. We're going on a bear hunt. On a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. We're gonna, gonna catch a big one. With big green eyes. With big green eyes. And a fuzzy little tail. And a fuzzy little tail. Look over there. Look over there. Look over there. I can't oh, remember dear. this. It's a. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get nervous in front of people. Spencer, okay. Spencer, what's over there? <laughs> It's you see before you. <laughs> yeah. Make it real. Make it real, Spencer. Bring it home. Bring it home. We're doing a mashup. Just anything? What? Yeah, no. Make it real. Okay. Like, 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 let's At the end, this. you find the bear in a cave. So no, no, like, Spencer. Like, 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 we're, we're like dungeon master this kindergarten. Take it Standing over. before you is an owl bear. The beast seems monstrous and is a combination of both owls and bears. <laughs> Not quite what we're looking for. Shit. Holy shit. I don't know how to follow We're that. going on an owl bear hunt. <laughs> We're going to find a big one. <laughs> We're going to find a big one. It's a monstrous combination of two different animals. <laughs> with a fuzzy little tail. <laughs> and, a, and, a, and, and a beak. <laughs> and its kind must be purged from this earth. All right, let's 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 clear the stage and let's okay. uh, let's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bob and Jen, thank you for the moonshine. Yeah. Jeff, I don't know what's going on. I, I it's Nashville. Can I leave yet? That was awesome. The reason why rock and roll and blues and grunge, I think, were invented here, it wasn't. Uh, is because there's no wrong answers. Uh, and so we have to we have to finish up the show with. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I know we could be here forever. <laughs> uh, we have to. Uh, holy shit, that moonshine fucked me up bad. I'm so sorry. If you want, if you want your money back, I'm in back. Uh, I, I, I think, I think, uh, as, as drunk as you might be right now, I think now is the time to test your rapping abilities because throughout, because throughout. Before we do, can we do one thing first? The, yeah. the camera crew had. The, can, can we outfit me with the uh, Jacques Cousteau? Uh, uh, I want to work the crowd. Okay. Okay, can we get D Dan the chest GoPro camera? All right. We had this thing. Like, Ryan from our crew, everybody, is uh, coming up. And, uh, he's going to outfit. 
I've been think working uh, the crowd lately. I think we have to. Uh, D- D- Dan's worried about his rapping abilities, and uh, they're, not, they're not getting any stronger for some reason. Uh, you'd think that as much as Dan raps about fucking people's mamas, that that there would be some notable improvements. But I think maybe maybe you can harness as, as you're being harnessed, literally. You can. Okay. All right. You can I, harness. I want to come out there and. Uh, I'm gonna work the crowd. All right. Do you want? Are, are you gonna be rapping? You want to beat? No, no, no. I, <laughs> this isn't about. <laughs> this isn't about rapping. This is about personal relationships. Like I want to know who's out okay. there. Oh, wait, we're gonna find a beatboxer. I'll beatbox. All right. Here's our camera crew. It looks comfortable. We're outfitting me. <laughs> that can't be right. I don't think it's worth. <laughs> Ryan, are you drunk too? <laughs> it's like a. Yeah, you okay, did. Okay. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was good. This is this is this is the first time this has ever been done. This we did not do this in Atlanta. I'm gonna I'm gonna work the crowd. Like everything. <laughs> Is it running? Is the camera running? Okay, here we go. Yeah, work in the crowd. Thank you, sir. It's, all right, here we go! <laughs> hey, well, uh, that's too meta. I can't, okay. Uh, well, no, because it, it won't. We need to point it down at the people. Right. You guys are gonna have to just hold uh, on. Dan, go work, go work stage right. They've, they've been neglected tonight. Can yeah, you yeah, they, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a f- fucking fiasco. I know it. Whoa. All right, this guy first. What's what's your name? Zach. Nice try. <laughs> That's how you work the crowd. You ask people shit and then you make fun of them. <laughs> what's your name, ma'am? Tonika. How do you know when you finish? <laughs> All right. Sorry. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna yeah. get personal. He's so drunk. Okay. <laughs> what's your What's your name? Tanika. Tanika. Uh, uh, more like uh, fun Ika. <laughs> Are you from Nashville? No. Good. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, acting. What for? For, uh, why? Because? Uh, what, what do you mean? <laughs> Work in the crowd! Yeah! Tanika! Oh! What's your name? Sarah. Sarah? Uh, what, what do you. <laughs> why, 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 why sit here? Best seat in the house. Uh, more like uh, worst seat in the in the in the uh, apartment. Uh, hey, no, it's, you take it easy. Uh, if you if you could have anything you wanted, what would you have? <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was uh, 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 all right. Jeff, yeah, uh, give me a second. Okay. What was your name? Sarah. Sarah. We got Sarah back here, Jeff. Right. Yeah, Jeff. Uh, Sarah. Uh, What's your favorite uh, favorite uh, favorite car? I heard I heard Ferrari. <laughs> Woo, Ferrari! Okay, Jeff, this isn't working out so good. Work on the crowd. Are you, are you gonna sing an R and B song to her right now? No, no. I don't. All right, let me try. It. All right, what's your sing, name, sing sir? A, sing a sexy R and B song, Dan. What's your name, sir? Andrew. Andrew. Uh, what, what what who who who? What's the name of the girl that broke your heart the most? Oh shit. Uh, Viv. Viv? Shit. <laughs> uh. You playing it? You playing the song? Uh, I, I, I'll, give you, I'll give you a rap beat. How about that? Yeah. What was your name again, sir? Andrew. Yeah, I think Dan. The... Andrew got his heart broke by Viv. Uh, uh, would you fuck his mama? I don't think so. <laughs> I think tonight's about reaching out to him. Wait, what? 
Jeff. Jeff. Andrew. Got his heart broken by a fib. Wait, what you can Ah, oh, fuck. I was gonna sing a tender song to him, but. All right, let me keep working on the crowd. I'm sorry. Okay. What's your name? Haley. Haley? How do you know when you're finished? All right. <laughs> let me just, yeah. You need, you need some Dan, help. it seems like you're afraid of human connection right now. But you, you, uh, you, yeah, you, What's you, your name? Matt. Matt? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like you're, just, you're glossing over. Work in the crowd. Work in the crowd. <laughs> you're, you're glossing yeah. over real humanity out there, Dan. What's your name? Jonathan. I don't think so. <laughs> what, what's your name? Anthony. A- Anthony, uh, what's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan said you were a dick. Anthony. <laughs> uh oh. I'm just kidding. Don't fight each other. What? What's your name? Brian. Yeah. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> All right. All right. Hold on a second. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna go. D- I'm going deeper than anyone's ever worked any crap. I'm going back to the people that have never been worked. These guys never thought they'd be talked to, did you? What's your name? Matt. Matt. <laughs> what do you do? For a living. How do you know when you're finished? <laughs> yeah. Johnny. How's your favorite color? Adam. That's what I thought. Whoa! I worked the crowd. All right, Jeff. Yeah. Give them what they want, Harmon. Don't hurt him, Harmon. Nashville, part of the South. Fuck your mama and her titties in her mouth. Walk the crowd. Walk the dude. I'm gonna do it. Walk, walk the beat. We gotta get all the people. <laughs> Jeff, come on. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry, sorry. Dan, you're on your own, man. You're on your own. No, 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 come on. Get, get John Lil up there to play guitar. Let's, let's do the uh, actual, let's do the ending of the... Uh, All right, Tim, Tim Lil back to the stage, and uh, Ashley, or who's it? Yeah, Ashley, get back up here, and Josh on percussion. Let's get, let's get, let's get the band back together. Uh, you, you can share a stool. All right. I apologize, everybody, honestly. All your money will be sitting in a pile by the exit. You can just take whatever you thought tonight cost you. Some of you, some of you drove here six hours. Just take, take $600. I will support you. That's all I want. Why, why, Dan, why are you so down on yourself right now? Well, it's we're... almost like you drank like four ounces of, de- <laughs> of, of some sort of, of high wood alcohol. alcohol? High, high, high octane depressant. <laughs> No, 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 no. We're. <laughs> All right. I need some verb on this mic. <laughs> Boo! Come on, don't. Let's all let's all get along tonight. Dan, I'm off mic right now, but uh, I know you're drunk. <laughs> I know that we've had a great time in the show. Got, you know, we started the show a half, an hour and a half before the show by drinking at the bar with some of these great people. Uh, Josh has been plying us with corn squeezins, and, uh, and you've, you've clearly lost your mind. <laughs> but I, don't, I, I, I would take that as an opportunity to tumble down the rabbit hole, and, like cross the threshold, because we're, story structure-wise, as you've said, we're kind of at that... Uh, at that at that three o'clock position as, as, we, as we're going down yeah. and gravity is now about to take over. I think right. it's, I, whatever the raps are coming up, I think, don't, don't think ahead too much. It's like, really just, really just pour it out. Let, let yourself tumble headlong. And don't, don't burden yourself or fetter yourself with, with rhymes. It's like, really just let, like, let it pour out. I, I think there's an opportunity, you certainly have enough cameras on your body. Uh, <laughs> There's a guy looking right at your balls with a camera. There's gonna be so many good ball shots tonight. 
I say uh, this is an opportunity to just do something magical. I, I, and I don't mean to tee the ball up too high, but uh, I feel like this, these people, they got here and they stood out in the sleet. No, I, I love them. They're my heroes. Yeah? Why? <laughs> why, why are they your heroes? Well, because they... Dip, they dip. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Nashville. 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 City of music. City of pain. More like it. Oh, fuck. Your mama. I want to sh uh, sh wait, wait, hold on a second. So, all right, just stop it for a second. Here, Dan. All right, okay, I'm ready. Let me, let me do it for real. I, I Seriously, I want to blow your minds tonight. I know I fucked up. Just let me... I don't want to leave this city without doing right by you. We believe in you. I can't look at you. I can't look at you. You've been too good to me. <laughs> Jeff, will you... <laughs> What's the chord pro progression of the of the Harmontown song? E minor, C, G, D. If, if you're gonna join us in Charlotte, learn this and bring it. Such an honor to be with good people From church to church, steeple to steeple I saw your mama sucked her titties I've never been in such a good city Nashville got horrible racisms It doesn't matter, there's no schism Between you and between me Let's, let's go south, let's go Down. He is yellow, poop is brown. Come on down to Harmontown. I'm too drunk, too, too much moonshine. I'm sorry I didn't drink more white wine. I just wish I could hang out and talk to you. I'm so sorry my set turned to pee and poo. I didn't mean to disappoint you. $22 is what you spent. <laughs> I, I, I let you down. Hold it. Uh, okay, all right, fun. Self ridicule and the end of the station. I can't take it no more. I feel like a bad person. Oh shit, it's terrible watching this happen. <laughs> Don't clap, don't laugh, don't plop. You're just looking at a guy that's a clod. He's got, he's traveling across the country. He's got shit to write, but instead he's going around and, and, and do, doing this. It's a terrible thing to do. I'm, I'm so sorry that I, I, I made a friend of you. Uh, you guys were very fine in the back, and you, you, you bought me Jagger bombs, and, and now I gave you a, 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 a price attack. That means, what does it mean? Hit it. Come on down, you found upside down. Shame! Come on down and hold it down. I'm gonna flow, I'm gonna rap good. I'm Woo! gonna make corn squeezes out of termite wood. I'm gonna drink a mason jar of lightning. I'm tired of rapping, I wanna start fighting it. I wanna have a couple fuckers on guitar. I wanna fuck your mama so hard she plays sitar. <laughs> fuck her all the way to India. I fucked your mama. I fucked your mama. Fuck. God damn it. Shit. I can't let Nashville end like this. I'm gonna do good by him, the invented Elvis. I wanna fuck your mama so hard I split her pelvis. I wanna fuck your mama, they invented blues. I wanna fuck your mama, she can't win, she lose. 
Come on down to Harmon Town. Y'all turn the crowd upside down. Bitch, live in the middle of the Come on down. Too drunk, too drunk. Come on down to Harmon Town. Seeing double crowd upside down. Y'all feel yellow. Watch how you get reels. Oh shit, sorry. Sorry. Alright, sorry. Wait, sorry. Wait, okay. Yo, a yo, yo, I got I got a yo, yo, I got a yo, 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 yo. The gospel bridge. Yo, home in town. Got a home in town. Come on down to home in town. Drank too much. In the ground. Is there anybody that can sing that could do like the uh, the uh, kind of gospel gospel bridge where they kind of fill in the uh, anybody? No, there's not a single person. All right, fine. Give me a second. Just let me get my bearings. Galaxy, two galaxy stars Gonna go to your mama, fuck her like she was Mars Gonna make her pussy red as fuck with my dick I'm gonna put it inside her, gonna fuck her my dick I'm gonna make her balls go deep inside I'm gonna fuck your mama twice as... Ah oh, shit, god damn it Alright, give me a second Alright, give me one topic I heard plumbing. <laughs> the plumbing industry is in need of regulation <laughs> across the nation. Too many people trying to do their job, but the government comes in and says, you can't be, you do what you're doing. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Taxi driving? How's, how, how's phosphate? You're my mom's prostate. Okay, all right. My mom's prostate is a muscle, but all throughout the city is hustle, bustle. She tries to get on the subway and go downtown, but how's she gonna release the turns the color brown? She just needs the muscle. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm sorry, I got thrown by that. Somebody get shocked. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep going. Keep going. All right. You know what? Maybe we're in Music City. Maybe there's no way to. Uh... Let's let Jim take it first. All right. Attack. He said, oh, I drank your, my own wife's poo. What now what am I going to do? I said, fuck you. Who cares what you do? I fucked you for the uh, shit. <laughs> Come on down to Harmontown. Put that frown up. 
upside down. I want to thank Jim Lil, everybody. Keep Jim Lil, Ashley, Josh in the moonshine, Aaron McAfee, Spencer Crittenden. I'm Jeff Davis. This is Dan Harmon. They brought you a tab, uh, but the bar is open. It's a cash bar. We'll sign anything you buy. We'll be here all night. Like, hang out, drink with us. Like, hang out. Thank, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for coming. We'll give you your money's worth. Josh, thank you for the... Thank you for crippling.